Okay, today uh, we are going to learn about practical units uh, in that length. So length means distance. Sometimes we need to measure very small distances, very small length, like uh, size of the atom, atomic radius, size of the nucleus. Such small distances we need to measure and we need a unit of length which should be very small. On the other hand, sometimes we need to measure very long distances like the distance between earth and the moon, earth and the sun. Such long distances we need to measure and for that we need a large or big unit of the length. So here we are having practical units of the length. Number one is Fermi. So one Fermi is equal to 10 to the power of minus 15 meter. Second one is angstrom. So one angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. So Fermi being a very small unit, 10 to the power of minus 15 meter, it is used to measure the atomic distances, atomic size, like this. Angstrom unit is some bigger than the Fermi and it is used mainly uh, in the case of the wavelengths. So in the question, the wavelength will be given in terms of angstrom, but in the calculation you need to convert it into meter and then how you will convert one angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. Now we are talking about big units. One astronomical unit, AU, is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power of 11 meter. One light year is equal to 9.46 into 10 to the power of 15 meter. So what is light year? Light year means the distance traveled by the light during one solar year. One year. If light goes like this, going on and on, on and on, for how much time? For one year. So how much distance light will travel? For one year. In one year. That was long distance is known as one light year and it comes to be 9.46 into 10 to the power of 15 meter. So how can we calculate it? Light year. So we know velocity is equal to distance by time. So distance is equal to velocity into time. So we want to find out the distance of the light traveled in one year, one light year. One light year is the distance traveled by the light in one year. So we want to know the distance. So distance is equal to velocity. Velocity of the light in air is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Into time. Time is how much? Year. One year. One year means 364.25 days. One day means 24 hours, one hour means 60 minutes and one minute means 60 seconds. So, if you multiply all these terms, then it comes out to be 9.46 10 to the power of 15 meter and this distance is known as a light year. One thing you have to be note down here, light year is not the unit of time. Light year is not the unit of velocity. Light year is the unit of distance. Now, one parsec. Parsec is a unit of length which is bigger than the light year. One parsec is equal to 3.26 light year. These distances are used to measure the distance of the object from the earth which is beyond our solar system 
like the distance between the earth and the stars. For such a huge distance, measurement of such a huge distance, uh, we use a unit, one parsec. One parsec means 3.26 light year. The stars which we can see by our naked eyes, such stars are at a distance of 500 parsec from our earth. Now, mass, one metric ton is equal to 1000 kilogram. One metric ton is equal to 1000 kilogram. One quintal is equal to 100 kilogram. Uh, in the olden days, there were the bags uh, of 100 kilogram also. And the laborers were carrying, the, and it was very common, and the laborers were carrying this 100 kilogram weight uh, on their back. And that was causing the health issues to the laborers. So, government banned this 100 kilogram uh, mass bags. Now, mostly you will find 25 kilogram mass and hardly 50. Mainly 25 and hardly 50, but not more than 50. It is not allowed to carry by humans for 100 kilogram mass by the government law. One atomic mass unit, one AMU, and this is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kilogram. So this was about the length and mass. Now we are talking about time. One year means 365.25 days. But in our calendar, it contains only 365 days. As per the calendar, one year is of 365 days. But Earth takes 365.25 days to complete one revolution around the sun. So, one year is 365.25 days. One lunar month is 27.3 days. Which? Now, why? leap year. Leap year, right? So, and I think all leap <laughs> You are happy. Now, we are seeing about the leap year. Leap year. So, in the calendar, we have 365 days only. But actually, one year is 365.25 days. So, in order to cover or match this gap of 0.25 days, what we do after every four years, one day is added in the calendar. Now, in which month this one day is added? In the month which is the smallest month, that is the February. February is having 28 days. If you count the days by taking February as is of 28 days, the total days will be 365. But after 4 years, we take February month of days 329 days. So if you take February month of 29 days and if you count the entire days, then it comes out to be 366, not 365, 366 days. So like this we cover the, our calendar with the actual uh, days of one year. So that year in which we take February month of 29 days, that year is known as leap year and it occurs after every four years. And the 29th day, 29th day, which we took in the leap year, that 29th extra day is known as the leap day. This is known as the leap day.